This modeling report shows how a 132 scale model was made of the McDonnell Douglas AV-8A. The AV-8 is a version of the Hawker Siddeley Harrier GR Mark I. The Harrier was developed in the 1960s as the first operational ground attack and reconnaissance aircraft with vertical short takeoff and landing capabilities. The AV-8A was exported to the United States for use by the U.S. Marine Corps in the 1970s. Interesting is that all AV-8A jets were manufactured in the United Kingdom by Hawker Siddeley but got fitted by McDonnell Douglas with American systems, another stencil ejection seat and sidewinder capability. I had an old 132 scale Revel Harrier kit that was released in 1972. It also appeared in later Revel releases like Kit 4718 in 1982. This release has gray plastic parts. The main dimensions of the Revel kit are in order but the kit has some characteristics of the Kestrel development and pre-production aircraft. Particularly the intake fairing shapes need to be changed. This kit will be made in a scheme of a Thailand AV-8A as flown by the Royal Thai Navy Flying Service. These were ex-Spanish AV-8A Matadors. In 1996 Spain sold their remaining Matadors to Thailand comprising seven AV-8A single-seaters and two trainers. These would be flown by the Thai Navy to operate from the also purchased ex Spanish carrier now called the Thailand carrier HTMS Chakra in the Wibet. The old Revel 132 scale kit was started by Inscribe All Panel Line. An important improvement is changing the intake kestrel fairing shape on each fuselage have to represent the Harrier AV8 intake. It is a bit difficult to explain, look at photos. It should be done as it has a great effect on how the model will look and takes a lot of effort to reprofile and have a symmetrical port and starboard outcome. On all parked Harriers, the upper four blow in doors also gravity droop when a Harrier engine is at rest. So the small upper airflow blow in doors were cut out and made. Don't use the kitty panel lines here as an extra door should be crafted as well. Smaller external airframe details were also improved. The cockpit of the Revel kit is very basic and the instrument panel is just flat with a basic decal. All can be improved with scratch building with card, drilling holes for instruments. For a British Harrier you will need a Martin Baker Mark 9 seat but for the AV-8A a stencil Seu 3 ejection seat. Also reinstate some tiny raised locks at the top fuselage engine hatch. The two belly pods will not be installed and therefore the small belly strakes are to be fitted. The small vectoring exhausts called reaction control valves near wingtips, rear tail boom, lower nose can be drilled out. The horizontal stabilizers have the correct shape but need some putty and sanding as well. The overall model got a base gray coat by airbrushing my favorite Revel lock with 75 Stein Grau acrylic paint. The tie of 8 were seen in two paint schemes. The first scheme had a US like scheme with gold gray surfaces and white undersurfaces. The second scheme had a darker gray with probably Federal Standard 36118 and Gall gray 16440 lower surfaces. This scheme was to be applied with the airbrush. I prefer to airbrush acrylic paints and my favorite brand is Gunze Songyo Mr. Hobby Paints from Japan. It covers very well with fine pigment but I recommend thinning these paints with a special Gunze Mr. Hobby acrylic thinner. The model details were now tackled. The cockpit details like instrument panels were made from scrap. I assume that the TIE jets had similar US systems fitted in the cockpit. The AV-8A had different stencil seats. After modification AFC-16 the jet got the Seiyu 3A seat and a drawing was found in the flight manual. A new seat was made. The clear kit windshield has a molded wiper, but sanding it off will not help. I will add a wiper from sprue later on. As the clear plastic of both parts is not consistent, it looks much better when these are dipped in Johnson Future Pledge varnish and let to dry. The rear canopy is a bit thick as well but when set open this will be less obvious. The windshield was fixed in place with white glue. The rear edge was marked black with a permanent marker. A fairing was made with card for the Y promoter. For the Thailand AV-8A I designed my one decals. The decals were printed by a third party. I also think that the engine panel lines are black and not red and these were made with extra decal stripe decals. After decaling was done, the final bits can be installed. The kit undercarriage gear like the wheels are a bit simplified but not a lot can be done here except buying an expensive resin aftermarket sets. I used the kit wheels and added some hydraulics on the gear leg with wire. Small sections of the alias got a piece of self-adhesive aluminium foil. Installing the landing gear looks easy but to get all wheels touching the ground needs alignment which took some time. The stabilizers were installed. 
a pair of white painted fuel tanks as per kit were set on the inboard pylons. I needed a bit sanding on the pylon mating edges to get a near vertical installment. The transparent lights, yaw vanes, wiper and various antennas were set. The last thing to do was airbrushing a few gloss varnish coats to give an even glossy sheen and to protect the decals. More details can be found on my website aircraftinplastic.com. I hope you enjoyed this video.